Hey, this is Chris Rossi, here to make the world a better place, here to start a non-profit, here to get this cause, ministry, movement, um, unconditional, loving cause, um, spread all across the Earth and world, starting membership places to make the world a better place. So this video for the cause is about, um, how do we help others when we're still struggling? For one, the better question is, how do we help others when we're not perfect? There's a good question, because no one is perfect except for God and Jesus. Then another question we could ask is, how do we help someone when we're sinners? There's another question that leads to another answer, which is, we're all sinners, saved by grace, when we accept God and Jesus as the Lord and Savior, um, when we give our life to God and Jesus and we confess our sins. However, it still goes back to the question is, people say you can't help others until you help yourself. A lie not to listen to. However, there is truth to it. You need to know how can you help others, and top of it, top of it, um, on top of that, is, um, you know, in what ways can you help others? Like, what can you do, and what can you not do? And then another thing is is how when you help others, it will help you to help yourself. You might be struggling for a long time. You might not even, you know, for one, we're not going to overcome everything. We'll never be perfect. Only God to do this. Um, for people who don't believe, you know, we're just no, we'll never be perfect, period. Whether you believe in that or not, um, believe in God to do this or not. I hope you come to know God and Jesus alone, Savior. Um, people don't believe. Um, confess your sins, give your life to the move. However, we're not perfect. It's through failure we become successful. It's through loving we can become more loving. It's through hope we can become more hopeful. It's through truth we can find more truth. It's through seeking good we can become more good. It's through trying to do the right thing we can, we can end up doing more of the right thing. When we keep believing, we'll end up believing more. When we become more humble, we become more humble. And so on and so on. So how do we help others? Well, we help in ways we can. Some ways we can do it regardless, like just be nice to someone. Say thank you. Say please. Hold the door. Um, you know, if you can give someone money to help out, then do that too. And, you know, give someone food to help out. Give someone clothes to help out. Um, teach someone uh, English doesn't know English. Teach someone um, alphabet like a kid who doesn't know the alphabet. Teach someone math who's having trouble going, struggling with math. Um, pray for someone. Everyone can pray for someone or people. You know, teach them scripture that will help. Anyone who knows scripture, or you can look it up, look up scripture. And find out what's good, um, you know, to help them. Um, you know, for all of sin and fall through of the glory of God, that will help you not to be guilty. I mean, I mean, to not feel guilt, to know that, you know, thinking that, oh, everyone else is better than you. No, we're all sinners. Um, for God's love, the world that gives the only begotten Son that believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That will help us to understand that for, for God so loved the world, that whoever believes in Him will not perish. So believe in God and Jesus. Um... You know, and then a beginning when the word was the word, and the word was with God, and the word dwelt among us, and became, became the glory, glory of the one and one and only, full of grace and truth. That tells you that the word has is full of grace and truth. That God is full of grace and truth. You know that the beginning was the word, was the you know the um all the stuff in the Bible that was already pl made you know planned out, um and so on and so on. So which is you know one way of uh, how scripture can help. So helping others, finding our strengths, and then improving with our weaknesses so we can help others in our weaknesses. So it's like if you're struggling with addiction, you can't help them with addiction, but you can pray for them. Even if you struggle with addiction, you can still pray for them and pray for yourself. If you're struggling with uh, swearing, you can't help them with, you can tell them about it, but you sound like a hypocrite if you say don't swear because you're swearing too. Um, and plus you're not being good influence. Um, but you can pray for them, you can... You can think about how wow they're swearing and that's not good. I'm seeing how that's not bad. So it's also realizing make me realize that I'm not, that that's something I don't do good at and I need to do good at too. Um, you know the list goes on and on. You know whatever our strengths are is where we can help others and wherever our weaknesses we can become better. Um, better at you know improve our weaknesses where they become more strengths and not weaknesses. They, it also says, you are, like in the um, contemporary Christian song, you, or even in the Bible talks about, you are my strength when I am weak. So when, when God is our strength, um, when we're weak, 
They'll lift us up. They'll help us to help others too. So, you know, whether you believe or not um, in God and Jesus, if you see God and Jesus, you can find God and Jesus. You'll, you'll find a better life. You'll find a positive life, loving life, a good life, all that. However, no matter what, you know, find help with helping others when you use your strengths. When you um, improve your improve from your weaknesses and those become more strengths, they can help others in those ways too. So, you know, we do our part to try to help others. We do our part to try to be loving. Most importantly, keep trying. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter how tough things are, no matter what you can find bad, there's always positive. There's always a solution. As long as you are around, as long as you have that chance, which, you know, you know, until the, you know, the rapture, the end times, until a time where you don't have any chance, you end up in hell, which I wish nobody would go to hell. I wish everybody would go to heaven. I wish everybody was perfect. I wish all would have, um, would come to no God and just alone save I wish all would be, be happy. No one would suffer. I wish all would be good. That would be the ultimate goal, you know, for this cause in general, is that everybody would be happy. Everybody would have enough. Everybody um, would be positive. Everybody would get the help. Now, I believe there's hope for all, and I believe we can help a lot in a really, really big way. And when we pray for this cause, when we pray for people, when we pray for all non-profit ministries, when we pray for um, the world to improve, it can make that difference. So, you know, helping others, we can do it. Um, you know, even when we're struggling, that, you know, you don't need just, you know, all, you know, all of a sudden improve at yourself to be able to help people. But you got to realize where can you help people and where can you not. Find out you know, ways you can, or, you know, what's too much and what's too little, whether it be praying about it or just, um, or just knowing, okay, you know, I'm struggling with this, or I'm struggling with that, or I'm not doing with this, so I can only help people so much, or I can't help people in that way, even though eventually you can, you're just going to improve at that, so helping others helps yourself, and we, we can't help others, we just got to find what ways we can, here to make the world a better place, to inspire, to give hope, and to improve the world, um, here to be that hope for all, have a good day or night. God bless. Take care.